YouTube. Thank you guys so, so, so much for coming back to my channel. Like, I say this every time, but I really mean it, y'all. Thank you to y'all for supporting me and rock with me. Like, it really means a lot, so I'm pretty much going to say it in a lot of my videos because, like, y'all, we are almost at 1K. And thank you to everybody for, like, hitting me up. I've been getting so, like, so many messages. Watch. I've been inquiring. And I love it. I really appreciate y'all for taking the time out to even go to my Instagram and like send me a DM. Yeah. And some of y'all follow me. Like I got new followers. So it's really dope. I'm really trying to build this community for all my girls and everybody who's just out here trying to get to that bag. I have always been the type of person that people can really come to since high school for real for real like when I started going out like I don't know people just gravitated towards me so I always knew what was going on people always just asking me like what's going on when they come to town you know I traveled a lot so I knew I met a lot of people and networked so it really gave me a chance to build myself and as far as who I am I'm pretty connected now and I'm able to make moves in ways that I could never imagine. I want everybody to win. I have no problem like telling free game. You know, like I just don't see nothing wrong with it. If somebody else can win and benefit, then why not? Dang, like that's just how I am. Which leads me into my next thing. I'm about to get right into it, y'all. So I'm gonna to talk to y'all about scenario play, wordplay, and things to avoid from sugar daddies. Because let's be real, y'all, like nobody got time to be getting scammed out here, and the scamming is real. Like Left and right, you ladies ask me questions, you send me pictures, making sure this is not a scam. And um, a lot of things that I get are like kind of repetitive from everybody. Like, I don't know what it is about Instagram sugar daddies, but like 99% of these men are fake. Like, for real, for real. So anytime a man hits you up with this crazy message saying, Hey, I'm looking for a sugar baby. I got four or $5,000. Weekly allowance, and all I need is your bank information, or you have to go buy a card and put money on it and send me the number. It's a scam, sis. You do not want to fall for that. And end of the day, like, I don't care if that man sent you his ID, showed you a social security card. Like, this is not a real person. And so you're giving your real information, your real bank information which has your real name, where you live, your social security, like they will have all of your information. So ladies, please be smart when you are contacted from a sugar daddy off of Instagram. That is not the way. We do not get finesse. We do the finessing and period. Like that's, that's just how it is. Please remember my words. It's a, it's a scam. I know it's very tempting. I know it sounds amazing, but it's honestly one of them things that are too good to be true. Y'all never spoke before. Y'all never seen each other before. This doesn't happen like that. Like usually you have to at least speak to the person. You have to at least see the person on video chat or something and then the free money can come because that is possible. A man can send you money from different states and it is definitely possible to get some free money because I've received free money plenty of times like To just know that it's a real thing. Everything I talk about, y'all, is real. Like, this is real life. There's no need for me to flex. I don't have to flex. So, like, I'm dropping this to show y'all ways of how to get free money. And just know that the man is not going to ask you for your bank information. He's not going to ask you to put money on the card. And if he has a problem sending you money through a legit cashing app, then says he's not the one for you. Which leads me into, I'm going to give you a little, a little scenario background. In my previous shopping spree video with my street daddy, he flew me out. This is where wordplay comes in because this is really, really important. Sometimes you don't have to ask for things. You know, sometimes you could be very indirect. You really want to see and test these men out. You know, ladies, you have to really be smart and be a finesse. Like, finessers don't always just go straight in. You have to... You gotta do a little plot and you kind of have to see and move, see how your potential moves and just see if he's even worth it. Also, every man is not gonna spoil you the way he spoils someone else. It's all about how you come off, your confidence, your finesse game, how how you are able to, 
you know, conduct yourself, your positivity, your fun, your outgoing. Like these are things that men look for because they've already dealt with nagging ass, you know, wives and ex-wives. Like this is that's why men get divorced. So like I said in my other video, shopping street video, I was I got flew out. He lived in California. We talked for like a week and some change. We FaceTime and everything. He sent me money for me to get my um passport, but although I already had my passport. I just didn't tell him that I have a passport. He sent me money anyway. Okay, so like, you know, that was money towards that. It wasn't like he sent me this grand amount of money. Things work slowly. Like, remember that you can't have it so fast all the time. You still have to get your mindset right. But when you get your mindset right, that is when you put the action into it. And that's when the universe realizes like, hey, this person is serious about what they want. And the universe will make a way for it to happen. But you have to stay positive. You got to stay faithful because when you doubt yourself and you doubt what's going on with the potential that you have, it will lessen your chances. Because he could have been the one, but you wanted your money right then and there and you wasn't having it. So like now you lost out on a real good potential. We never even really talked about me getting the bag. I had mentioned to him a story one time, which a story that I made up. I literally was like, I'm at my cousin's house right now and she showed me this Louis Vuitton bag that is so gorgeous that her boyfriend got for her. And you know, I love my cousin but sometimes she's jealous of me because of my lifestyle and she kind of like tries to compete with me. This is a whole lie, okay? It's just to see what he would say, how he gave, you know, what I'm trying to say and to see what his response would be. So he says, well we can't have you jealous and you know, pretty much asking me what kind of bags am I into. I hopped online so fast, y'all. And now, keep in mind, this was just a tester for me, but I didn't really want a bag at the time. Like, a bag wasn't in my mind. Like, oh, I need to get a bag. It was just really a tester that I did to see his response, and he actually went for it. So, um, so I sent him pictures of the bags that I liked. I saw, I, you know, I sent him some Louis Vuitton, some Chanel, some Gucci, everything. Like, I sent him everything. So his response was, oh, really nice. You have such a great style and choice, this and the third. And but like nothing of that conversation, he said, I'm going to get it for you. We kept chatting. And the next day he was like, send me your top favorite ones. So I, I was like, what? I can get a bag? Then why not get a bag? You know what I'm saying? Like, who don't want a free bag? <laughs> send him pictures of my favorite ones. And he said to me, when you come out here, just know I have a, a great welcome gift for you. He never specified which bag it would be. He just said that I would have a welcome gift if I was to come out there whenever I do decide to come. So if you watched my previous video, my shopping spree video, like I said, with my sugar daddy, you will see, like he's in the video a little bit, but like you will see that I'm at Neiman Marcus and we're literally walking around. We were like in, we were at the Gucci store and the Chanel store and he literally said to me that he would have gotten this Chanel bag that I did want, but not gonna lie to y'all, not for nothing. Like, you know, I could have went with the Chanel bag, but the Chanel bag was really, really expensive. And I didn't want him to think like, that's all I wanted from him. Like, you also wanna be a very smart sugar baby, ladies. You don't wanna just always go for the best thing because sometimes, it would just sometimes give off like, as if you are needy and you want more than the means of what he's already trying to offer you and some men will really get offended by that so you know just be really considerate about that so like i said the chanel bag was way more than gucci bag that i got but the fact that he even considered getting me the chanel bag was like insane you know what i'm saying like insane it was like a chanel boy bag or something i really just wanted to stay away from trendy bags like trendy popular bags that are like surfacing all around right now because i wanted a bag that you knew if you've seen it, like, that's a real bag. Like, you know, like, I don't want a bag that, seem, that you can get anywhere, that you can get a knockoff of anywhere. Like, I kind of wanted a bag that was very rare to find a knockoff of, if that makes sense. So I went for, like, something totally different, and I love it. I never had a chance to really do, like, a um, review of my bag. I just kind of did a show-and-tell unboxing video type of thing. But here she is. <laughs> oh, she's so pretty, y'all, like... Don't mind my nails, please. Like, I've, I'm, I'm on a strike. I'm on a nail strike because somebody my nails up in Atlanta. <laughs> and I have not got my nails 
redone since then because that hurt so bad. Like, here she is again. And yeah, I got the, it was like the Gucci Margaret Gigi Supreme bag. Now mind you, I didn't even know it was Supreme in the name of the bag. I was like, oh, this bag is so pretty. And then I realized like, oh, it's a Supreme, like. What more of a sign that I not need, that this really matches me. Like, I love this. This is such a businessy slash upscale bag. Like, you know, like, you could do so much. I'm not going to lie to y'all. When I rock this bag in public, like, I get so much attention. Like, I get attention now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, like, I get so much attention and, I don't know, it just, it just screams money. Like, you know, this bag is real money. Like, so, sometimes I'll rock it like this, you know, you know, you know. And it says, blind for love. <laughs> so cute. And it also has the straps. So if you want to rock it like a crossbody, you can. I personally have not because, you know, like this way, like, <laughs> like this. I have rocked it like, you know, off the shoulder when I don't really want it to be so in, in your face type of thing. So it's kind of like more over here. But yeah. Oh, I didn't even show y'all the inside. So this is the inside. Oh, it's actually really like, it's so structured and I love that. And when I mean structure, like it's just, it's stiff in a sense. Like it's really stiff and I love that. So yeah, like that was the inside. I do have my Gucci. Uh, I got the receipt. Ooh, let me cross out his name so y'all don't y'all don't steal my sugar daddy, okay? Don't steal my sugar daddy, sis. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think the price is important because if you really want to know the price, you can go on a Gucci website. Um, but I will say that they was definitely taxing in California. Like the tax in California is ridiculously high. But I keep my bag in a duster, the dust bag that it came with. Like I don't play no games, and I don't even bring it out like that because. You know, I just I just get a lot of stares, and I I I don't know I don't trust people. People be looking crazy. <laughs> it's around the holiday time, you know. I just I'm really selective when I take her out. I love this bag. What else I have in here? Oh, I got my passport, y'all. I got my passport, and I really love this clasp. Like, ugh, this bag is just popping. I'm sorry, y'all. Like Gucci authenticity card. When I say I was struggling to say this word, I. I feel like I'm still saying it wrong. Authentic authenticity card. But yeah. Gotta show all that. Just so y'all know it's it's very real. It's real. It's real. It's very long. It's all like different different languages. I wanna tell y'all why it's so important to make sure you are mindful of your wording and just do testers. Like every potential is not an instant bag. Like you have to do testers, you have to give it time. Just think of scenarios and ways that you indirectly wanna ask somebody for something for and see how it works out for you and drop a comment below. Let me know how your situation is going. Let me know if you need some more help with your situation and you know what to do next you might you might be in a jam. You might have the one, but you don't want to miss out because you don't know what to do. And that's really important, ladies. You could have the real potential. You could have the real sugar daddy. But if you don't know how to treat him or handle yourself, you will lose. And this is not something that's like a quick thing. You know what I'm saying? Like people want a sugar daddy so fast. But, you know, I'm going to give you all the real one. I want to be honest with you all that it does take time sometimes. And if you are being positive about the situation and your mind is in the right place. Like if you truly want something, it will manifest. If you put action into it, y'all, then that's some ways that you ladies can get to a bag yourself. So I think that concludes this video right here. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me again. Like I said, let's get to 1K, y'all. Please hit that subscribe button. I don't really even ask in my other videos, but like it really would help me out. Please continue to drop them likes, them comments, and please continue to keep sending me messages. Like I said, I do this because I want to do it. This is not something I'm getting paid for. And I need y'all to know I'm a busy person right now. And I'm out and I will see y'all again.